Yo, it's Bogue. Welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today, we're going to be checking out one of the coolest modern interstellar planet packs to release this year, Cosmic Serenity, made by Proxima Centauri. I think this mod might hold the record of the pinkest planet pack ever produced, and it has a super cool, moody, and alien vibe that we'll be checking out. So here we are in the tracking station, and we'll zoom outside the bounds of the stock Kerbal system, and over here we'll find the Hades Brown Dwarf system, approximately 6.6 .6 Kerbal light years away in the northern hemisphere, which is pretty cool because most star system mods I've seen are in the southern hemisphere. This is Hades, the L-type brown dwarf star that gives the system its name. Brown dwarfs could be described as more massive gas giants that are really hot but not quite hot enough to be a full-blown star. They're also called planetars, which is like a mix between a planet and a star. They're pretty common in the galaxy too, with multiple of these discovered within 10 light years of our own solar system. A cosmic ember would be a really cool way to describe it. It has a really pink light that bathes the entire system in an exotic pink glow. The description says that these types of systems are usually cold and inhospitable, but who knows? Nothing is more resilient than life. The closest planet to Hades is Folly, a sun grazer planet that orbits so close to Hades that its atmosphere is being blown away by its energy, leaving a hot comet-like tail behind it as it orbits around with massive auroras over its skies. The surface of Folly is pretty hot at over 100 degrees Celsius. The next planet out is called Melena, which is a small airless world with mares of frozen lava. It also has a large bluish ice cap on one of its sides. It's tidally locked to Hades and the same side faces it throughout its orbit. The next planet is an exotic eyeball world called Iris. It miraculously has oxygen and liquid water on its surface and is similar to Kerbin in its gravity and pressure, but basically just that. This planet is also tidally locked, which causes massive temperature differences on the permanent night side and day sides, causing a planet-sized hurricane centered on its equatorial ocean. Exotic life forms have been found to exist on Iris, and I can't wait to check out this planet up close for myself. Iris also has rainbows, which are a new feature to Kerbal Space Program planet mods. Additionally, all the planets in this mod with atmospheres will have periodic meteor showers across their skies. Iris has a small asteroid moon called Cornea, and I think there's an eyeball terminology thing going on here, but I can't be sure. Also in orbit around Iris is a wormhole that connects to the Kerbal system to another wormhole in orbit around Moho. If you fly into the wormhole, it's a much quicker way to travel to the Hades system than traversing the 6.6 .6 Kerbal light years out to the brown dwarf itself. Further out is the planet Enmi, which is an eroded dune world with a thin atmosphere covering its large dune seas of red sand visible from orbit. They cause large sandstorms that stretch across the planet. It has just over half the gravity of Kerbin with 40% the atmosphere pressure. The furthest planet skirting along the edge of the Hades system is Kalis, which is a solitary ice giant with a small dusty red ring and multiple moons. It has a shepherd moon living in its rings called Lix, with a jagged and interesting surface with close-up views of the ice giant. The second moon of Kalis is Yotun, which might be my favorite object in this planet pack. It's either this one or Iris, but this one has a really awesome looking surface with cryonic geysers throwing out material into the atmosphere from its subterranean ocean, like those of Europa and Enceladus in real life. It has a hazy blue atmosphere, which turns to the most striking neon pink at sunset and the Terminator zones that I'm super excited to see for myself from the surface. The largest and last moon of Kalis, and the last object in the Hades system, is Chrome, which is a cold and dark world covered in impact craters that have chipped away at its icy surface over many years. It has a really huge, striking impact spot that has scored away part of its surface. And that's about it for the planets added so far to the Cosmic Serenity Planet Pack for Kerbal Space Program. As far as I know from reading on the mod's Discord page, which I'll link down below, there are more star systems planned for the future of Cosmic serenity so stay tuned for that hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment below for more videos like this one and i'll see you guys next time